Okay, we're just sitting here chilling. Big country. We are hanging, and she's eating. Or you're chilling. We're chilling. Yeah, on we're Lucy. chilling oh, on a Lucy. Oh. Actually, if you think about it, this place is immaculate. This is this is like the rehab of Las Vegas. I mean, it's got pools, golf course facilities. Yes, walk around, Mr. Cameraman. He's doing the camera. We're doing it still. I gotta make sure Check I get. Who I got out with me? What's your name, dear? Tell us everybody your name. That's so great. You don't know it. It's I, Amber Delacruz. I do. <laughs> I do. I know. I just want everybody. Else My to name know. is Amber Delacruz. Woohoo! I'm from yeah. Callahan, Florida. From where? My social is. <laughs> You're from where? Callahan, Florida. Callahan. That's oh, that's that place up there above Jacksonville. Yeah, it's, a, it's that place. Yeah. It's that place you guessing, drive through. And I'm and guessing, I'm guessing she's friends with WQIK. So if we I am. Shh, we won't say that. <laughs> Um, I actually was talking to Tony yesterday. <laughs> but um, we're, we're, we're chilling. We're hanging out here. Um, what's going on? I mean, you, you're, you, you're based out of Nashville now, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, um, I live in the concrete jungle. Well, yes, she lives in the concrete jungle. We were talking earlier about Nashville. Not being Nashville anymore, it's, it's changed completely. But oh. um, what, what kind of music do you prefer as far as, are you old school country? Are you... New country? Are you bro country? Are you hip hop country? Oh. See, that's tough because I really don't listen to a lot of country. Oh, <laughs> actually, actually, I do. I'm a sucker for '90s country. Like I always will be. Keith Whitley is one of my favorite artists of all time. He, he's been, yeah, he's been, oh, he's been, he breaks my heart. <laughs> he just, I just, I just hurt every time I listen to his songs. But um, and Tracy Lawrence is one of my favorite artists too. Oh, in his 90s in his prime. But don't forget, man, you got Alan and you got... Yeah, you, you got see, Keith. I didn't... You're not a big Keith Urban fan? Come on. Oh, Alan, I, no, I, I was a huge... No, honestly, Keith Urban was the first artist that I ever learned. He was the first country artist that I ever learned to play on the guitar. You'll Think of Me was one of my favorite songs. Really? Yeah. I used to watch it upstairs in the bonus room of my parent of my... Of my, of my, of my my family's house because uh, we weren't allowed to listen to it. I know how to read sheet music. I know how to write sheet know. music. Nope. I know the keys on a keyboard, but I can't play an instrument. Go through that. I can play a harp. Yeah. Do you know what juice harp is? I, I can play a juice harp. No. You know what? Oh, it's that little thing with the clear. Boom, boom, boom. You put your mouth and you sit there. It's a, it's a metal. You never see a juice harp? Oh my. And you're no. from that. And you live in Nashville. Even that guy over there is laughing. Look at that. I don't know. A juice harp. You've never. I'm I've gonna never have, heard we're of gonna this. have to Google that later and show what a juice harp is. You know what? I, you, you'd be surprised. It's, it's kind of like a juke jug. It's kind of like a juke jug. It's kind of a juke jug. You know what a juke jug is? You know? That's a jug. A juice harp is a metal metal instrument. It's about that. It's, it's probably about that big. It looks like it's looks like a key. It's hooked and it's got a loop on it and then it's got a metal band that goes in the center. You stick it in your mouth and you sit there and you twang it. It's yeah, it's like a, a lot of people call it twang. Like a twanger. Yeah, but um, um like twang. The twang. There you go. Um so um tell everybody what you got going on as far as music right now. Well, so I so I'm actually this next Thursday I'm celebrating my five years since I lived. months before I released the CP, like, was literally when I said I wanted to be a country artist and I wanted to write music and I wanted to sing. Mm -hmm. And I wrote five songs in three weeks, recorded yeah. them in three weeks, and then released them in October of 2013. I had no clue what I was doing. After I released it, people were tweeting on Twitter, obviously, but they were tweeting WQIK say play Amber's music and like they were just going to town like like people were retweeting going crazy and I was like uh, I didn't know I was gonna do this <laughs> I just had no clue like I literally I just stalked people that I liked as artists and I just mimicked them I did whatever I could to look but you know you fake it till you make it well I was definitely doing that because people thought I was way fancier than I actually was when did you make the move to Nashville? Because we know you're, you say you're from Florida, but you're pretty much a transplant from Georgia. <laughs> because you've got that twang. And believe it or not, folks, she's 
Filipino too. Filipino. Look at the dark skin. Her, 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 your dad's Filipino, right? Yeah, He's the only Filipino redneck in the Philippines. Oh yeah. That's what she said. Hands down. My dad used to race mud trucks. That's right. They do. <laughs> they, they race mud trucks over there. I he used you know. to race like he used to have a, G, a CJ7 on like mm -hmm. huge tractor tires. Or not, not even tractor tires. tires. Yeah, like 40. No, 40. It was still street legal too. 44s. But, yeah. 44, yeah. 44 yeah. Super Swamp. Yeah, Super Swampers, yeah. And wow. yeah, he had Super Swamp, yeah. I had a 79 Golden Eagle with him. He had a what? I had a 79 Jeep Golden Eagle with the same thing. Oh, okay. I was like, wait a minute, you and my dad? <laughs> we probably do because we all race. He used to race, he used to race in, I, I don't know where I'm from. Where I'm from? Well, we're based out of Orlando. But he used we, to race in Lottie all the time. Well, well he probably run, if he went into any of the truck pools and stuff, he probably ran into my cousin Rodney Brown. He run in Southern General. Southern general. Oh, yeah, we got trophies yeah. for days. Like, my dad used to win all of them. He's crazy. It's Filipino race. <coughs> when did you make the trip to Nashville? So I moved to Nashville. Uh, I moved to Nashville two, in August of 2015. And that same month was when uh, one of my songs got put on the compilation disc with Average Dose. Right. Average Dose, Yeah. With, with, uh, Sarah Rossi, very yeah. good friend of mine. Oh yeah, Sarah's my girl. If you if you follow Sarah, you've seen me and stuff. I probably have. I just oh yeah. Don't, I'm, I'm old. I just don't pay. <laughs> oh yeah, me and Sarah. That's my girl. I love her to death. Actually, I'm. I, I'm she calls me her mom sometimes because I do pull the mom card. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like Sarah. What are you doing? Where are we going? Because I, I see backup for her sometimes. That's cold for Speaking of Colt Ford. And uh, Maddie Lynn. You must know Maddie Lynn that hangs up. Maddie's my best friend. You, you know Maddie. I, I, I've interviewed Maddie. I've interviewed uh, Josh. Maddie's my best friend. I've interviewed uh, everybody from Parkinson's. Actually, Hanks I'm out. The, like, I'm one of the reasons why Maddie moved to Nashville. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. She did. I live. I practically live with her. She, wow. she used to live with me. You need to tell her Big Country said to call. Okay. I will. Because I've been trying to get her for another interview, but she hasn't said anything. Oh, yeah. Maddie, you're, if you're paying attention, call. Uh, yeah, that's one of my best friends. Um, you're talking about very close people in my life. They basically know everything about me. We live far apart, but yet we run into the same circle. Oh, yeah. What's um, Okay, so it's five so years So speaking now. of Colt Ford, uh -huh. Colt Ford's going to be on my new single. Really? Yeah. So I sent this song. So I, sent, I wrote this song with uh, my producer and a girl named you know, uh, Naima uh, Adepeto, or I always, I always say her name. Name sounds great. Right. She you, was on American Idol. Do you realize that 0.1% of all the artists in the world only make it big, and those are the ones that you see? That we have, we have not even touched independent artists. Oh no. And that's and that's Heck no. I know that's so what many. the music Gosh, industry. Gosh, you know so many when you that's move to Nashville the music and you're like what he's worried about. We're gonna take over. We're, oh, we're yeah. gonna take over, dang. Yeah, well so so I, I got done with this song and I was I was honestly it was supposed to be released September twenty eighth. And I sent it to Cole and I just wanted to I mean I really just wanted his opinion. I was just like, Hey, tell me what you think about the song because he actually texted me the day that I finished writing you that song. Say, hey, I'll go ahead. And... Well, so I was like, I was like, so like, you like it so much that you like it so much that like you want to be on it? Because <laughs> like I said it to him, and he was just like, oh. and then I was like, I was like, I think it's good too. And so he uh, he ended up uh, he was just like he was like send that track to me right now, and I'll put a verse down. And I was like, oh, okay. And so I sent it to him, and like we. we they just like filled it. They, they just put it, laid it down. My producer just laid it down. We're gonna release it this month now. So it's gonna be. Or we're gonna be releasing Is there original. An initial dates that we're gonna release, or it's just any kind of song. Are you not? Let's look anybody? at the. Why don't we look at the calendar right now? Because I don't really know. Gina Davis says you're amazing. Twenty six. Is that oh, Friday? Yeah. He's he's. Uh, we're doing the live on Facebook too. Oh, so hello, Gomez. <laughs> So your new single's coming out this month. Yeah, it's coming Make sure out you time. email us. I gave you a card. Make sure oh. you get it to us. Oh, I'll give you that and, and everything else. You're going to be here all weekend or pretty much just today? I'm, so I'm here tonight. Tonight? I was here yesterday. I okay. played yesterday right. and then I played, I'm playing tonight and then I'm playing tomorrow in the afternoon and okay. then we play it in, we play it Classics in Hudson, Florida. Cool. So, you know, sleep is not really recommended. <laughs> 
Whatever. Um, <laughs> we will definitely keep in touch with you. Um, it's great to see you, and we're going to have so much fun this weekend. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's, it's going to be fun. Y'all better come to my, my show. Red, my red Because I know Julia is. Cole's my, playing 30 minutes oh, after me. Oh, you talking about that lady that's supposed to, <laughs> supposed, supposed to interview? Oh, that famous person. I know Julia Cole's playing 30 minutes after me, so you you got to at least <laughs> come 30 minutes of mine, okay? Ah, ah. I start at 10. You can just walk right, there you go. right up the little walk. Nice to meet you. Big country. We got more coming. Stay tuned. Yee.